www.vidaloca.com and I'm here with Juan and we're at Disneyland Resort because it's all about Dia de los Reyes, Three Kings, and one of the best things to have during this time are buñuelos. Así que Juan is going to show us how to make them because you have to know how to make them. Absolutely. It's actually pretty simple. Good morning, by the way. Uh, the easiest thing to do right here is we get tortillas, flour tortillas. Who doesn't know? I mean, how to, how to get flour tortillas? They're so easy. I mean, you go to a store and buy a package and it's just like so easy to do it, okay? Yeah, it's um, easy. And you know, that's like the best way for me to do it because my mom makes them from scratch. Yeah. And no, I can't do that. Actually, it's not hard. I mean, I mean, I have ingredients, but I mean, the easiest way basically is getting the tortillas. You buy the package, you just cut it out the way you want it, with any shape you want, any type of cutter you want. In this case, Look we have that. a nice it's Mickey. Mickey. We have a Mickey. That is so cute. Or a little tree, or anything you want. You can even cut it with your knife, however, any shape you want it. But in this case, we're gonna cut it with a little Mickey. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is just put it right there. We have about three tortillas. Okay. And the trick part is you have to put a lot of pressure and kind of move them kind of back and forth. In. Okay, to make sure. Well, what's nice is, I mean, if you do one, you can always have your kids help you. Uh, and and that's, that's, that's nice. That's really nice, you know, thing to do at home with your daughter or your son, you know, because yeah. they really have fun. You know, doing this type of thing. See? Oh my goodness, this is Once so Once you have your cute. little little Mickey's right here, okay. We have a canola oil preheated to 365 degrees, really hot though. So the trick is, and in, in safety, make sure when you drop them to mm -hmm. fry, because they're gonna be deep fried. Drop them one at a time, slowly, and very so slowly, gently. so it doesn't splash back to you. Can it be you're... any other type of oil? Does it have to be canola? Canola oil? or vegetable. Okay. Yeah. Don't use olive oil because okay. it leaves a, a, like an aftertaste. So oh, canola, okay. yeah. Yeah, you, okay. you gotta talk it down to me because I have I don't know how to cook. I yeah, don't know how canola to do that is stuff. the best. Canola is the best or rest of oil. Okay. okay very Once you cool. got those cooking, they're gonna take about three minutes. We're gonna let it in there and then we're gonna flip them over. We have product already finished right here, which we can use or oh. we can wait. It's up to you. We can we can do it this way. Yeah, thing, I don't have time to wait. All right. <laughs> okay. I so wanna what, make it now. What we do is we take some of these. Okay. Okay. Put it in the bowl. That's what you would do with us. One okay. thicker out. And okay. so the coating is just sugar it's, and cinnamon. It's sugar, cinnamon, and a little bit of uh, uh, nutmeg in there. Nutmeg? So oh, yeah, I haven't, yeah. I've never okay. used nutmeg right. before. We're going to drizzle them. And the trick here is that they need to be warm and a little bit wet, so from the oil. So oh, the so sugar that it sticks. sticks to okay. it, okay? Yeah. Once you do that, you just toss it. They go for a little right, you know? Oh, you know, my goodness. Like can, and you can just smell like, it. Oh, yeah. Smell it. Oh, I wish it had smell a, of it, and it's so, so smell good. Smell the holiday right here, the cinnamon right yes. here, okay? Once they're like that. We're gonna plate it, and we're gonna plate it however you want to. I'm gonna let you okay, get then. your hands dirty. How's that? Oh, well, that's that. good, because then I can just lick <laughs> off all the oh, sugar. There we go. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna check the product is roasting right now, there okay? We go. I'm gonna check this over here. See how nice they are? I'm gonna turn it over, a couple more seconds, and they're almost ready. Oh, so I have to flip them over. Yeah, so what if they just toss and turn in there? No. Oh. No. Okay, now we're gonna decorate however you want to. You have apples right here. You oh, so like all a kinds topping. Of berries. Yeah, kind of, you can actually make like a like a natural type of thing with this because you got oh, all the berries. So you got the whipped cream. You got everything we have. Oh my Caramel gosh. sauce. So how are you? This wanting? is cute. What's this? That's uh, a maple syrup okay. and cinnamon. I want I want whipped cream. Whipped cream. There you go. That's my favorite right there. There you go. Me too because yeah. it's almost like um like ice cream. I want Apple? apples. Mm -hmm. So how did you do the apples? You slice them okay. and, then, and then you cook them. And uh, cinnamon, sugar, and you let them reduce like all the liquids. Anything else you're gonna put in it? Um, yes, yes I want strawberries, huh? I want Who strawberries. just wanted strawberries and their sweet Mickey oh, those doing are this so beautiful cute. cold weather. Well, you know what? It's like the, because they're they're like this. They just look so fancy. So when people come over, they're like, "Oh yeah, I did Mickey for you." Those are so cute. Oh, and now you want some blackberries in there? You want some? Um, I think I want some blueberries. Okay, help yourself. Okay. okay I hope that you do it. Okay. Bring some color. Yeah, the colors. Oh, that's yeah. so cute. I love that. And love basically, it. that's how you do it at home. You okay. can put anything you want. I mean, don't limit yourself to berries. I mean, you can do mango, you can do pineapple, you can do pretty much anything. Or plain. However you want. You to know what? It, I've wait. never had them top like this because it kind of reminds me of like funnel cakes. Yeah. You know, Absolutely. but this is really cute because like a nice little twist. So thank you so much, Juan, for showing us how to make buñuelos. You know, my one pleasure. of my favorite. Um, and come down to the Disneyland Resort during the Three Kings Day, Dia de los Reyes, because they're gonna have all they're gonna have buñuelos, right? That's and right. they have pozole. We and have it here at the pier. We have it here at the boardwalk, all the way to the. Do you six. make them fresh? and make them from tortillas? Fresh, no fresh. Ah, fresh. okay, it's yeah. even better. Not in this shape though. They're in a the regular. Yeah, the big ones, papers, right? Yeah. Okay, so make sure you come down to the Disneyland Resort during this time. They're here until January 6th, and then they go away, so you got to come by before they go away. That's correct. Thank you so much. Thank you. My pleasure.